Hi, third and fourth graders. You're going to have a little bit extra to do with this lesson because I know you know if you drop it, it's going to spin and it's exciting, but I'm expecting a little more out of you. So you have a worksheet to follow some additional steps. So the first step is what I talked about before. So you're going to create the helicopter and test it to make sure it flies. Then I want you to observe it as you're dropping it. For step two, does it spin clockwise? Does it spin counterclockwise? And you're going to put your observation over in this box. Small box, small observation. Don't have to put a whole lot of words down, but if you need extra room, you can put, uh, put extra things on the back. Then you're going to fold the bunny ears in the opposite direction and see if that changes how it descends. Will it change it um, if it was going clockwise the first time to counterclockwise, or does it not make a difference? Again, put your observations over in the right-hand column. Then I want you to try pointing the rotors down as you drop it. So it's going to go, your bunny is going to go head first, okay, and see what happens. Then I want you to try dropping it at a 45-degree angle instead of straight up and down the way you probably have before that. Then you're going to come along and trim the rotors by an inch, okay, with a pair of scissors. Do this with both ears up at the same time because I didn't the first time, and you get some really different results when you have two different length rotors. So you're going to test it. Tell me how it changed. Then you're going to come in, cut another inch off. Tell me how it changed the descent. At this point, this one can go in the trash. Save your, save your um, paper clip, though. Then I want you to design a helicopter that has rotors at the top and the bottom. So you just start with a rectangular piece of paper and you're going to cut the little ear flaps on both sides and drop that and see how that falls. Then the last step is I want you to design three original helicopters, okay? And you can just sketch them out for me on the back if you could. Um, some different ideas, maybe you want to make one with three rotors. Now in this case we may have to start using some tape instead of the paper clips because it's not going to be two-dimensional. So I might tape it so that I've got a triangular prism going on there and then take my paper clip and put this at the bottom, test it out, see how it works. Another one um, I made was a traditional one but I made it really small or maybe you want to make a larger one and see how that changes it. Get creative, come up with some different ideas of how you could make these um, and see what you can do. The actual, this assignment that I got online, the, a fourth grade teacher did this with his class and he jokingly um, told the class, if you guys keep talking, I'm going to give you the worst homework assignment ever. And the kids kept talking, kept talking. So he said, you need to make a hundred of these for me by next Thursday. And the, then he forgot to tell them that it was just a joke, and they literally went home and made a hundred different variations on them. So I think you can come up with three during class. And by the way, they ended up saying it was like the best homework assignment ever. So the more you try it, the more creative you're going to get with it, and different results are going to come out of it. And ultimately, you'll find that there are a couple of models that, that work better than others, and that's what I want you to experiment with and find. A lot of revision in today's lesson. Okay? Have fun with it.